Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod for the Gravel D series that adds the D35 V8 four wheel drive max tow bundle to the game. And this is the little brother of the T series. This heavy duty truck comes with and fifth wheel installed in the trunk. Does also come with 7 liter supercharged V8 engine, stiffer suspension, and improved radiator. So let's go ahead and spawn this up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to the dry van trailer. So that's the big old trailer. It's not that little small flatbed one. This is the serious trailer. And we're going to see if this thing can tow it. If it can, then we'll also try it with some things in the trailer. But I figure we got to do this gradually. First an empty trailer, then a trailer with things. So we're going to back it up to about there. Go into L to attach it. And wait for the trailer to fully attach. Once the legs are all the way up, then we can go ahead and get going. Now, the hardest part about this is actually going to be the camera angle. Because if you were actually driving this, like the normal camera angle, you'd see that kind of thing. When you just see the inside of the trailer and it's like, I have no idea where I am. The best option truly is to either use the interior camera right here or even the hood camera. Because that way you could actually control the truck. Because that's what's important is seeing where the truck is going. The trailer, you really don't need to see that much unless it starts to tip or something. Otherwise, you just drag it along and hope it's doing fine. But a video that's just like this is kind of boring because you don't get to actually see the trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the really difficult to control camera. And I'm going to crash all over the place, mostly probably because of that. Because really, like, if you just see the trailer like this, it's really awkward to drive because you don't know what the truck is doing. But I'm going to do it anyways. But like right here, I don't know if I should be steering more or less. And I think the answer was less as I'm going way to the left accidentally. That was great. But I'm doing it for you guys. You can see what the trailer's doing as we go down a pretty tough road. I thought the trailer was going to tip over for a second. First on the left and then on the right as well. It just started to wobble a little bit. But what we're really testing is how does the truck do in slowing down the trailer and then pulling it around the corners. And so far, it seems to be doing a pretty decent job. Like every corner we see, it breaks and it slows down properly. And then we're able to just go around it without much issue. This is uh, doing really, really well. You know what else we could do is we could try going on the dirt road upward. So we've done a little bit of downhill. It can break totally fine. Can it accelerate and pull a trailer uphill on difficult terrain? This is going to be a true challenge. Now, if this thing had things in it, there is no way it could do it. With it empty, it's just struggling along. Every foot is a challenge right here, but it is doing it. Amazingly, it's making it up. And it's actually gaining momentum now that it's kind of leveled out a little bit more. I mean, once we got a little bit of momentum going, I'm pretty sure ain't much going to stop us except a big change in incline. And, well, I haven't seen that. We're doing exceptionally well here for this thing. You know what? We might even try this with a little bit of weight and succeed except for sections like this. Like right here, it's starting to slow down a little bit. Still making progress, though. Like the important thing is it's still measurably moving. Right here, it's barely moving. And look at the cows. They're like, oh my goodness, that guy in the truck is a maniac. What is he doing? Okay, this is not working. Drop the load. <laughs> Can you imagine you pay a moving company to deliver you a trailer and they show up with just the truck and you're like, well, where is my trailer? And the truck's like, well, you see, I am too cheap to get a real truck. So I had to drop the trailer because it was too heavy to go up the hill. You'd be really, really mad, and rightfully so. That is totally unexcusable if you pay somebody and they do the exact opposite of what you want. So now we can go ahead and test this with a loaded trailer, and we're going to load it up with a variety of things. First, we're going to put a car because that is the most obvious thing, and we're just going to get a real fancy-looking version of the Moonhawk. So it's like you have your race car, and you're taking it to the racetrack. So to put it in the trailer, all we're going to do is we're going to put the parking brake on, move the camera inside of the trailer like so, and then press F7. And then the car is perfectly placed in the trailer. Next, we're going to go ahead and spawn up a hay bale square. And we're going to place it behind the car using the same method. Now, I went back to the trailer before I spawned up the hay bale. So that way, it's lined up with the trailer and not with the car. Okay, I can't see it. We've got to make sure. Did that work correctly? Looks like it's fine. And is it touching the car? Nope, so that's perfect. So next thing we're going to spawn up is going to be the old cannon, which I'm pretty sure is going to spawn in the wrong direction. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to rotate this thing 180 degrees and then place it in the trailer. So I got this whole plan. First, we're going to have my race car. Then we're going to have a hay belt. And then we're going to have the cannon. So if somebody drives up behind me and tries to steal my race car, I could shoot him with the cannon. 
the cannon will recoil into the hay bale, not damaging my race car, and hopefully take out whoever is trying to steal my amazing race car, and that is already not going so well. I forgot, the parking brake is the button to shoot, so I tried to make the cannon stop rolling, and instead I just fired. That was great. So I'm going to respawn this right here. We're going to freeze physics so it doesn't roll away, and then I'm just going to try to teleport it into the trailer about here. Then we unfreeze physics, let it fall, and now for the question. Can this truck pull a trailer that full? Now we actually have a little bit of an uphill at the start, which is not going to make it easy. And apparently the trailer is actually still sitting, so we're going to raise the trailer. Only one leg is raising. That's a little uh, unusual. Let me go down and then back up, see if that fixes it. Okay, the trailer's acting up a little bit. Hopefully the leg will go back down as you would expect. We're going to get the truck and just try to cram it under. Fit! Okay, we got to get some speed going into this and then just smash into it. We're going to damage my truck probably. Actually, maybe if we come from the side, you might be able to squeeze under and then just scrape. There we go. Yeah, I heard something break. But we got it on-ish. There we crashed again. Trailer is on the truck. Let's go! Or not. It really wants to go, man. It is so close to moving. It had just for a second a little bit of momentum and then it stopped. Think if I gave it just a little bit of a boost, it could actually make it down the hill, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep accelerating and then I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And we're going to just try to grab this thing by the frame, hopefully, and just yank it forward a little bit to give it a little boost. So come on, a little boost, a little boost. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, we're good. We're moving it, we're moving it. I'm back in control. See, all we need is just a tiny boost. I'm steering left. Oh, goodness, there's so much weight. I don't know if I can really steer it. Oh, no. <laughs> like, I'm telling this thing to go left as much as possible. The problem is I can't let up on the gas because I'm afraid if I lose momentum, I'm screwed. But I'm accelerating so hard, my front tires are barely touching the ground at the same time. Kind of a situation to be in. I got a little bit of momentum to play around with, though. I think I can let up here and there. It's all downhill. There is no chance at all for this thing to make it up the hill. But I think we can manage it down the hill if we play it careful. And oh my goodness, steer! Steer harder! <laughs> it's so bad at steering. It's pulling it, though. We're getting speed. Can it slow it down? You know, the amazing thing is that it still slows it down. I mean, that's all the trailer's brakes really stopping it. Because if there were just brakes on the truck, yeah, this thing would never stop on these hills. But the trailer has some brakes, which is just enough to slow it down. And it is doing an amazing job, except for the steering. I mean, the steering is kind of awful. I just got to I gotta maintain control of my weight. It's like a fat person. If you don't control your weight, you'll just get in a bad situation. So here, we got to make sure we maintain it. Make sure we have weight on the front wheels and the back wheels. There's always going to be weight on those. No concern there. But now that I'm getting a little bit better at that, we're doing all right. I mean, we're definitely slower than the unloaded trailer. So now I have a really dumb idea. This is even dumber than what we've done up until this point. What if we told the AI to try to drive this thing? Like the AI, they, they don't even know how to control the trailer as far as I know, but we're going to tell them to do a, try to control it anyway. So we're going to grab the app, just plop it right in the middle of the screen. And then I'm going to just tell them to go random and hopefully random tells them to go down the hill. And I'm hoping also that they actually work on this uh, map. And we're going to just say go 15 miles per hour because if you start going faster than that, bad things will happen. And oh, can't use the number pad for that. You got to use the upper numbers. Okay, can't use numbers. We'll just hit the button then. Thought we could type in that. How weird. And then we're going to say a limit. You do not go faster than 15 miles per hour. And oh, it did not save that. Awesome. Random. No, no, no. You're going way too fast. Eight mile per hour limit. I don't even care. Just slow it down, you maniac. Uh oh. AI not so good. They're at least going in the right direction, all right? 15 mile per hour limit. Just get around that corner. Oh, no, you blew it, AI. All right, I'll give you a little bit of a boost. Okay. No faster than 15, I said. 15, that's your limit. There you go. Okay, they're actually doing it. They're actually doing it. Now I can really, like, watch the truck and the trailer. I don't have to worry about actually driving it. Uh, they're not as good as me as going around these corners. They are using the walls as bumpers. Aw, uh, you got yourself stuck. Okay, I guess uh, AI, not smart enough here. Not even with the limits that I imposed. So we're going to just turn them off. 
In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the app completely because it's just taking up space on my screen now. Which apparently crashed the game. So I went ahead and set everything up exactly how it was before, at least as close as I could get to being the same. So we have the car, then we have the hay bale, and then we have the cannon because I never even got to shoot the cannon. I'm really disappointed about that. So we're gonna try to take off again. And is it gonna be the same as last time? Yeah, we need a little bit of a boost. So same strategy here. We're gonna go switch to the other vehicle. We're just gonna go down under it, grab it by some really sturdy bit, not the exhaust, like right there, and just give it a little push. It's a little bit more of a push, actually. A little bit more of a push. There we go. Then back to the truck. And we're going to try taking this thing down the dirt road this time. Since I uh, proved it can do the normal one, let's see if it can do the dirt one. And again, with the awful, awful steering, just got to try to do my best to make it work. You kind of just hit your brakes and then steer in, and it works for a second. But then you're losing momentum, so you gotta slam on the accelerator afterwards. It is a mess to try to do this. You almost wish you had a car with rear wheel steering. That way you don't even have to think about having the weight on the rear axle because you could steer with the rear axle. This one though, it's just all that focus on how the weight is distributed between the two axles. All right, we're doing pretty good. We got lots of speed. I mean, that's helpful and all, but we gotta actually control that speed. That's the hard part. And um, yeah, we're doing fine. We are doing totally fine with controlling this thing down this hill. I am actually super surprised. The nice thing is, is this is a little bit steeper than the other road. So I'm not accelerating at all. So I have a lot of grip with those front tires. That's really allowing me to churn into these corners nice and steady. And I don't have to worry about it doing really awful steering. Except for like right there, which is kind of my fault because I was messing with the camera. And I didn't even see which way I was going. It's a nice, huge, steep hill. We're going to just floor it. Oh no, Oh, Is it bottoming out? Yeah, the trailer's bottoming out. You can see right here, it's just digging into the dirt. That's gonna make it really hard to move. Like, I'm gonna try to pull it, but I might just pull the car apart. Oh, come on! Oh, that thing really just did not work, did it? Oh, and I forgot to accelerate, that didn't help. It's hard to do that, accelerate and then hit control at the same time. I gotta like do this really wacky thing with my hand. There we go. That's why I was switching cars earlier. All right, let's let it fly then. We're gonna let it fly. Nice place to jump it. Getting some real air, that is perfect. And now for the impact, which reminds me, we haven't done any crash testing. We should probably do some after this, but right here I gotta see this thing just open up the trailer and dump the contents right onto the road. Oh, uh, that is awesome, the way it just kind of tore it apart. I guess there was so much weight inside, it made it where you could just plow through the walls. That was great. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to grid map to do some actual crash testing. And we're going to keep the crash testing pretty simple here because my main focus is just what happens when you crash with a trailer attached because the attachment point is just a real solid and sturdy object, so there's not much really to see from it. But when you have a trailer attached and you start doing some crazy stuff, there's some fun things to see. We're going to go ahead and just try to align this thing up and attach it. And I'm going to do something a little bit dumb. We're going to make it look like we want to attach it, right? We hit attach and then we start accelerating. And we bend the frame just a little bit, I think, from doing that. I just wanted to try that out. Now, we're going to go ahead and try to make our way all the way to that back wall in the most violent way possible by going over the suspension test. Because there's no clear path to that back wall. You know, I kind of wish there was. That way you wouldn't have to do that. And, ooh, that front tire is jiggling. I might have damaged it on the suspension test or something. Or maybe it was because I was accelerating so hard we had like no weight on the front wheels and it was just freaking out because of that. I really don't know. I have to pay attention later on if it does it again. So we're going to go way slow here. We're going to do, uh, let's do 100 times slow motion and then we'll speed it up to 16 times if nothing too interesting is happening. So right there, impact looks pretty normal. And then the trailer coming in and absolutely destroying the compartment where the driver would be there is no chance of you making out of this one alive that is just absolute destruction and not much else to see from the vehicle itself so we're going to fast forward it and interestingly enough it looks like the vehicle is still trying to stay attached to the trailer a little bit no it's just a little glitched into it actually it looks like because you notice the back end is still lifted i think it's just it's just glitched into it like right here you see the interlapping parts. What in the world is that thing? 
Is that my rear bumper? I, I didn't even think I had a rear bumper. What? No, that can't be the rear bumper. What is that? You know what? I'm gonna reset it and see if that helps. Oh, it was the light bar. That's what it was. I forgot I even had a light bar on this thing, to be honest with you. So anyways, let's go ahead and do another attachment, although it looks like the trailer isn't lifted up, so lift it! And coming out at a bad angle because of that lifting, so let me just readjust real quickly. So park it right there, and attach, and go! Even though it's not really attached, bending the frame. I wanted to see, does the wheel jiggle? Yeah, the wheel is jiggling right there, that was not me. So the jiggling wheel just happens. Anyways, let's do a low speed crash, or at least a low speed compared to the previous one crash. 35 miles per hour. Still does a pretty hard impact into the rear, but that one looks like it's not actually crushing the driver's compartment to bits. Maybe a little bit if there was somebody in the rear. Okay, uh, not even a little bit. That is a crushing to them. But the people in the front aren't terribly crushed. And that's really all the crash testing I'm about to do here. Just for fun though, we can see what happens if we were to try to get this thing to go down a leap of death. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out, but it should be interesting to see, I would think. Just got to find a leap of death. So I have an idea what we could do here to make this work, but I don't know if it'll actually work. The first thing we're going to do, though, is get both of the vehicles. So we're going to just respawn right here and put the trailer here. And then we're going to put the truck next to it. And I had to make sure I left room for the truck. If I put the trailer way on the side, then I would spawn the truck off the edge, and that would just be total chaos. And the trailer is actually inside the ground, so I'm going to lift the trailer up and then just drop it. Try to reset it about level with the ground. There we go. And that way it doesn't have any damage just in case it got any from the drop. We're just going to back this thing up to there. Attach. And then go. Alright, so we have enough speed to go on the flat. Do we have enough momentum to make the jump? Yes. And we're going to do this whole thing in full speed because I don't really know how I would even focus to look on if I did slow-mo. So just a zoomed out full speed is probably the best thing to do here. And uh, actually, it's pretty impressive just how well the trailer is staying attached. I know you can break all the trailer connections. There we go, as you see right there. But it was attached very, very well. Actually, part of the trailer may still be attached. Everything is flying about, so it's hard to tell. No, actually, the trailer became fully detached. I think the frame just got stretched, so it looked like it was longer than it should be. And since the game glitched out right there, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. So until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya. Also, interesting to point out, it wasn't the truck that caused the glitch, it was the trailer. Alright, again, YBR, see ya.